What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Support Going. Before we get into this video, guys, I just want to say, wow, man, there is a lot, a lot of enthusiasm from many of you in those comments, man. Such positive feedback for all these new characters that we're going to be getting. And I know quite a few of you guys were a little disappointed as well as, as far as certain characters not coming in to this collaboration. And to be fair to Ned Marble, they can't give us every single character they want. They can't, you know, make every single player in the game happy. Although I do believe there is a legitimate argument to, you know, having, you know, a copy of these characters when in, in reality, they could just give us, you know, opposing characters. For example, you know, we have two Ivies in this update and we have two Cassandras. You know, why do we have two Cassandras? Why do we have two Ivies? I don't really know, maybe because they're super popular characters, but the truth of it is that they would have done like, say, what they did in the past collaborations, like, say, with Guilty Gear, where they just gave us all separate characters, no copies of any of them. I think it really would make more players happy and would entice more players to actually pull for the characters. Now, having said that, what we're going to do today is we're just going to read a little bit of the story of each of these characters, and then we're going to take a look at their critical finishers from Soul Calibur 4, which are pretty damn awesome. So Ivy, Miss Seductive here, is pretty interesting. So as the daughter of the noble Valentine family of England, Ivy had a loving upbringing. Boy, she doesn't look like she had a loving upbringing. However, a shadow loomed over her future when her father squandered his fortunes and died after being driven mad. Her mother followed not long after. Ma, oh, that's real sad to hear, actually. Ivy learned that her father was obsessed with alchemy, seeking the soul edge, the key to immortality. She also learned that the Soul Edge is pure evil. She could not forgive him. Determined to destroy the evil sword herself, she embarked on the path of an alchemist to create a powerful weapon. Wow, all right. So, I mean, Ivy's got a noble cause going on. That's actually really, really cool. The next character we can take a look at is Cassandra here. Let's read her story. So, Cassandra Alexandra is the daughter of the Athenian baker. Sometime had passed since her sister... I guarantee I'll butcher this name. And evidently, this is a very popular character in herself. So, Fiatia, I apologize if I do mispronounce her name, disappeared before her wedding. Cassandra then took over the bakery with her brother's Lucius help. As her mother entered a deep depression, man, it's, it's always these sad backstories, huh? However, Cassandra had a hunch about her sister's whereabouts years prior. So, Fiatia had apparently destroyed the evil Soul Edge after receiving guidance from an oracle. But few had believed this to be true, yet Cassandra had faith in her sister after meeting one of her companions, Taki. Oh, interesting. With Sophitia's sudden disappearance, Cassandra believed the Soul Edge had been restored, hoping to find her sister and assist her in an upcoming conflict. Cassandra set out on an adventure of her own. Very, very interesting reading. And then we can get into Mina, one of my personal favorites. Beautiful. All of them are. All right. But Mina... I've been feeling embarrassed lately about her nickname, Tomboy. I think this might already be a reason that I'm kind of enticed by her because I love Tomboys, but she could not stand it this time. It turned out her father, uh, Han Myung, I mean, I guarantee I butchered her name, the master of Song Martial Arts, Do Zhang, had been looking for someone to marry her. Father doesn't even know how I feel. If Song Yong cared a little more about Mina, I guarantee I'm going to get a lot of butchering in the comments as far as you know a lot of people are going to really criticize my pronunciation here things wouldn't be this way song jong who is mina senior came to the dojang seemingly to see his master song hong myong but he immediately announced his return to the coast guard it was only a matter of time before the words run away came to mina's mind so she's pretty much running away from marriage she's like screw that i'm not getting married i'm out of here man and then we get into taki who is another one of my personal favorites, right? Taki's got a pretty interesting reading as well. Hidden in the shadows of history is a group of demon-hunted ninjas known as the Fuman Clan. Taki was the most skilled ninja in the Fuman no Sado after crossing the sea in search of the Soul Edge. She encountered Servantes, the wielder of the evil sword. Taki defeated Servantes in a fierce fight, but peace didn't arrive when she returned home. Toki, the leader of the Fuma, had sent an assassin. The assassin, however was not after Taki, but her sword, Mechamaru. Toki was blinded by absolute power, which does happen with a lot of these uh, games and characters, and it would be dangerous if he possessed the Mechimaru. But Taki knew that going against Toki would mean she would have to run away from the, the village. So, you know, some of these girls are on a quest. Some of these girls are running away from uh, total destruction, running away from marriage. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting reading. But then... 
we get into some real interesting stuff, guys, which is the actual critical finishers of these characters. So the first one we'll start off with is Ivy, right? And this is pretty nice. Get a load of her finisher. Now that's lit. That's pretty damn lit, right? Let's watch that again. I mean, she's got a badass finisher. This thing is lit. And it's actually a fairly long super. Now, we all know that Net Marvel sometimes will customize the supers or the specials of the characters that are incoming, maybe lengthen it somehow, but still grab the core of the actual finisher, what it's supposed to look like. Ivy's is lit. That is a beautiful, beautiful finisher. I love it. We're going to watch it one more time. The voice actor, by the way, also for her is really great. Ah, Love it. That's pretty cool. And also, it looks like maybe she could have lightning damage. Maybe lightning damage we'll get with her. We'll see. Ah, uh, and then Taki. And if you guys notice, there's this music in the background. We're probably going to be hearing that music quite often. Sorry that I interrupted that. All right, now let me back up that a little bit again. Let's watch that one more time. Let's check this out. Okay, back up a little bit. Here we go. Little jump. Nice. This is pretty cool, man. She slices all over uh, Ivy there. That's pretty damn lit. That is pretty freaking cool how she just comes across. But it, it's a short super. And like I said earlier, Nat Marvel does find a way a lot of times to lengthen the supers of these characters. But I really love how she just slices. But like... She's like the a flash with a sword, right? That's kind of what she reminds me of. Really, really cool animation. And then Cassandra, here we go. Cassandra's pretty funny, man. A little butt drop there. Can't say that uh, I wouldn't mind being that guy, right? I mean, but still. That's nice, right? Nothing really uh, too flashy, at least with uh, this... Uh, animation that we're seeing here you know nothing really too flashy little butt dropping it seems like we see a lot of butt dropping uh with the ladies in some of these games but i mean and then the heart pops out i mean go figure right a heart popping out after she does that that's actually pretty funny and then we have the ming ming's freaking cool or mina mina's freaking cool that's pretty damn badass that's pretty damn badass. Again, guys, it looks like a fairly short animation. I'll back this up a little bit. Okay. It's over. Big old spin there. Nice. And judging from the way her animations look, that's a cool little pose right there. She might have burn damage, which I know a lot of people wouldn't be happy about at all. We have so many characters with burn, but... Guys, I've said this multiple vi multiple videos. Anymore, especially with the power level of these characters, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if they have the right dot or not. In all honesty, they're so damn strong that they just bypass a lot of game modes anyways and just totally destroy. Unless Netmarble incorporates a game mode in the future where we actually need certain dots. I mean, actually need them. In Guild Raid, we can just plow through everything. It's so easy. It's not even funny especially for a moderate to veteran player. But it does look like she could end up having some burn uh, damage. But I'm going to go ahead and back it all the way. We're going to watch all these one more time, guys. Just because really, they're really cool. This is lit, man. This is really cool. I like it, man. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Oh, yeah. Slice and dice. And, you know, maybe I don't have the right finishers, guys. I don't really know. I mean, these are the ones that I found uh, on YouTube. Maybe there's something that, I'm, you know, I'm obviously maybe missing, you know, because, again, I'm not that familiar with Soul Calibur, but I do like these characters. I do like these characters. I think they look awesome. You know, and by the way, we can also expect that critical finisher thing to show up right there. We can expect critical finish to show up uh, whenever we get these girls, but I mean, all in all, guys, I'm 
Really, really excited about this update, man. I thought those finishers looked really awesome. And again, remember that, you know, Netmarble can customize those things. They can make them have longer animations, but still keep the core of what those finishers actually look like so they can represent the characters to the fullest. Because if it's one thing that Netmarble does right in Kofa, they truly, when it comes to finishers, when it comes to animations of these characters, they really try to capitalize or try to match what is in the original game to its fullest so why, that way the characters are fully represented in all their entirety so guys let me know what you think about these finishers let me know what you think about these characters and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m due to plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody